Happy Sunday. Paisley's eating the rest of her cookie. Are you eating the rest of your cookie? Oh, you're tired. Molly, who do you see outside? Anybody? Is there anybody out there? It's a cold zero degrees here, guys. Freezing today. We're not doing anything, are we? We're just going to clean the house. Yes, you going to help me? Yeah, so it's freezing here at zero degrees. Freezing! Time to make breakfast! What's up, Jess? Boop. Look at him in his robe. How cold is it? It's really cold. <laughs> now this is what I call my keto breakfast. Two eggs over easy, curry gold butter, and six slices of pepperoni. They come from here. This little, remember I bought this the other day? It was in my little grocery haul. Um, the little slices of pepperoni. So yeah, just to get a little bit of protein in there with the eggs. I usually try to have a high protein breakfast and taper off throughout the day. It just seems to work best with my body. And so yeah, there's breakfast. So I let you guys know that I had some new keto finds and I figured I'll just incorporate them in the vlog. Um, one that I'm most excited about is this. It's in a Ziploc bag because it's open. But um, <clears throat> these are called sea snacks. And what they are, I'm going to open one up and show you. They're, um, <laughs> I don't laugh. They're seaweed snacks. Hold on, I got to one hand it again. They're seaweed snacks, organic seaweed, and um, it's in a flavor of wasabi. Now, the reason I'm excited about this is because. We don't really eat sushi on keto because sushi is like candy, technically, in, in regards to macros. It's high in carbohydrate. You're really not getting much fish at all. You're not even getting an ounce of it. And so basically sushi is just sugar and carbs. So I love sushi, and I did before, but I can't have it anymore. So when I bought this, again, I'm going to show it to you, wasabi sea snacks. It literally tastes like sushi minus the fish. But the thing is, let me open this up and show you. It's so bizarre, like the texture and everything. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Here's what it looks like, right? It comes in a container like this. All right, and I'm going to pick one up and show it to you. I'm going to, like, flip this around so you can see. I don't know. Can you see that? Okay, it, it's like tissue paper, okay? Look at this thing. It's that thin, that flimsy. It's literally like, you know gold leaf? I don't know if any of you guys know what that is, but this is like gold leaf. But it's so good. And it tastes like sushi. I'm going to read you the macros on here so you know. Um... It's got 15 calories for the entire pack. Um, it has 2 grams of fat and 0 carbohydrates. So, if you're in the mood, you could technically make yourself some fish like tuna or some salmon. Have this on the side and it would kind of mimic sushi. I also bought it in this flavor. Chipotle. Blech. I wound up throwing it out, but I saved the package to show you. This flavor for me was a definite no-go, but the wasabi one. Try it, guys. I bought this at Whole Foods. All right. So the next thing I found that I've never tried before is this. Shredded coconut. Unsweetened. I want to try to make a macaroon, a keto macaroon, and I'm going to be using this. And I got... What else did I get? Oh, you've seen this before. This isn't a new find, but sort of for some of you, coconut flour. So I'm going to use coconut flour, the shredded coconut, and some other stuff. So that's another video that you're going to be seeing soon. Um, this is a new find for me. Um, I plan on also trying to make some kind of chocolate peppermint or spearmint or what have you. Almost like a chocolate Girl Scout cookie. So I found this at Whole Foods, Simply Organic Peppermint Flavored Extract. So yeah, so 
Those are my new finds. Definitely though, try the sea snacks, guys, in the wasabi flavor. I'm telling you, it's delish. So let's talk BMR. A couple of you guys had some questions about it. Um, <clears throat> with this way of life, sometimes we get no urge to eat. Absolutely no urge. And some of you are asking if skipping meals is appropriate and what can happen if we do, is it okay, whatever. BMR is the total amount of calories your body will burn just to stay alive through breathing and sweating and whatever. If you laid in bed all day and didn't move a muscle, you would still be burning calories. And that is your BMR. I don't ever suggest going below that as far as calorie intake. And you know I'm not a big stickler with calories on keto, especially for the first six months to a year. Um, so while you're transitioning into a fat burning uh, person as opposed to glucose, there are times where you're legit not hungry. Like you look at food and it, it almost makes you like nauseous. So you don't want to take it in. But while some people say, you know, only eat when hungry, don't worry about it. I, I disagree with that. I feel like your body knows. I mean, we have like survival mechanisms built in and your body knows that if you go below a certain amount of calories, your body thinks it's starving. And when I say starving, I don't mean like starving. I just mean like it, it knows that it has to hold on to stuff because it, it, your body relies on food for energy and such. And when you're not taking it in appropriately, your body can literally slow its metabolism down. And that's the last thing you want. You want a high metabolism. You want to be able to burn your body fat. So my suggestion is if you fall into that category where you're not hungry, you don't have to sit and eat a giant meal, but you should have something. So your body can, can sense, and this is a weird word to use also, I'm talking physiologically, not like it has sensors, but that it can sense that there is an intake of food. Um, don't go too long in between meals. But again, if you're not hungry, you don't have to sit down with a full you know, protein, fat, vegetable, you don't have to do that. Take in something like a hard boiled egg and a pickle. Take in something like a couple slices of pepperoni and a slice of cheese, something, just a little something so your body can get the nutrients it needs to perform and to where that your metabolism is not slowed down. So I hope that answers your question on that topic. What's your breakfast today, babe? Salmon, broccoli, rice. See, you don't necessarily have to have eggs for breakfast. Be like mussels here. Salmon and broccoli. Yeah, have, have Eliminate the rice, though, for us, right? Have dinner for breakfast. Yeah. Well, how about I just eat the rice and you can have the rest? No, I eat my eggs and pepperoni. But you know what? They always say that breakfast is the most important meal. We're so backwards, too, right? We always eat the biggest meal at dinner time, and then we go to bed. <laughs> there are some people that wake up in the middle of the night to have their meals. Yeah, I knew but that's guy. bad. <laughs> Champion bodybuilder and powerlifter. That's dedication. Yeah, but they have to eat. They have to wake up and eat. It's too much work. Yeah, it is. It's too much work. That's an obsession. Yeah, that is an obsession. <laughs> ah, what are we doing today on Valentine's Day? The only thing I'm obsessing about today would be you. Yikes. It's cold out. Britt and I are, um, and Kevin also, are actually going to head over to the mall and um, just walk around because we're pretty bored. The house is clean and yeah, I'm not one of those type of people to sit around all day. So we'll just go to the mall, see what we can find. You want to come with us? Let's go. For it being so cold, look at the beautiful blue sky we have. Wow. Yeah. So here's Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey. Brittany and I like to go through the back. As you can see, like, nobody's here yet. <laughs> Lots of snow still. Oh, it's cold. I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as last night because it's the only one that I have that's high enough to keep me warm. Maybe we could fix that today since we're at the mall. So nothing's open yet until 11. I know. So we'll just wander. That's a movie I've seen next Yeah, that looks like a good movie. Check this out if you want a massage. This is where the husbands and boyfriends usually sit. I'm going to get Starbucks. You want to get Starbucks? Starbucks! 
Brent, what are you getting? I know what I'm getting. Is that rhinestone? Yeah. It's new rhinestones. What? Look how pretty. It's pretty. OMG. Look at this cup. But yeah. Here's moon too. What'd you get? My usual. What is it? French vanilla. French vanilla? Yeah. Cinnamon in it? That's it. Oh yeah. Ready? Let's go. Mmm, I'm partial to the coconut one. <laughs> Everything okay so far? Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. If you need help, there's a one of us coming. Okay? Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. What's body spray? It's got like exfoliant in it. What is it for? Grab your skin. <laughs> oh my god, look what's coming into the store on my birthday of February 19th. What's coming in? Oh my goodness. A brand new Nick store. February 19th. Whose birthday is that? Yay. Yours. <laughs> Nothing like walking through the mall with no makeup. And of course, running into people you know. Oh well. I'm shameless. So I just scored this awesome sweater at American Eagle. It was originally like 48 bucks. I got it for 12. Oh yeah. Whoa. That was fell. Hey Britt. They're doing some uh, redecorating here. Where are we going now? Sephora. Sephora. Michael Kors store. Huh? Love these black and white. That looks like kind of my bag. Yeah, Brittany got one of these the other day for her birthday. Miss 18 year old. I am loving these black and white bags. Oh, so pretty. Salad works. This is the Bentley salad. It's got ham, chicken, egg, tomatoes, lettuce, cider ranch, bottle of water. What'd you get? Caesar. Chicken Caesar. Nice. And then. What is that? Green goddess. Is it good? Yeah. What's in it? <laughs> I'm digging in. The official poop slippers. <laughs> They're so cute! That's where I went to college. Felician Nurse. Oh, there it is. So we're done at the mall. Got a couple things. I got a cardigan for work. I got a sweatshirt. The sweater you saw from American Eagle. Bottle of water, always. Oh, right! Soda! Freezing! Look at Prince's new sunglasses. Ha ha, you're so cute. As I always say, we're in good health, Brent. All right, guys. Talk to you in a little bit because it's freaking cold. All right, guys. So Jess's birthday is on Tuesday. And honestly, I'm stumped. I don't know what to get the man. <laughs> He's got so many things that he loves. And there's like, honestly, nothing that I could think of. What do I get him? What do I get him? I don't know what to get him. Sorry about the angle too. I'm currently driving and I'm holding you down so you're, I'm not distracted. Yeah. Don't do what I do. <laughs> um, if you guys have any ideas of what I can get him, leave them below. Is it bad that I'm craving Starbucks again? 
This is what I'm saying. I swear they put something in that stuff to make you obsessed and addicted so that you crave it and you buy it. I am literally cracking up because I feel like a drug addict right now. I just... I just dropped Brittany off at the bowling alley to um, meet with her boyfriend for Valentine's Day. So darn cute. And yeah, my truck just magically pulled in to let me show you where I'm at. Starbucks! <laughs> and I feel like a drug addict because I'm literally, I'm, I'm craving it. It's terrible. Feels like I need a fix. So yeah, I'm going to go in and get myself a Starby. Oh, I'm getting about to get my fix on. I knew you guys had to watch. I don't know. It is a true fix. It hits you like baboon. Sugar-free French vanilla. I know it's got Splenda in it. I can't. I just, I needed this darn thing. So good. So I would like to take this opportunity before the blog, vlog, <laughs> blog, <laughs> before my vlog ends. Can you see me? I don't know. How about that? I would like to take this opportunity. Can you see me now? I don't know. I, I got to put you up here because I'm driving, but I would like to take the opportunity right now to say thank you to all of my new keto clients. You guys have been banging it out of the park. I couldn't be more proud of you. I can't believe the successes. I mean, yeah, I can believe it, but I can't believe the amount of you guys who have truly stuck to plan. You guys are killing it. And I just want to say thank you so much for having faith in me and my experience and my education enough to put these meal plans together for you because it's something that I'm so passionate about. You have no idea. It's like every waking moment of my being, I am thinking of keto and ways that I can help people. And, you know, the coaching part of it, um, the way I used to do it with Skype, it's just, this is so much better. It's just, I mean, you literally, all you have to do is food shop and eat and you'll be successful. I do all the planning for you. I come up with your meals, your macros, everything. It couldn't be more simple and I love it. I just, you know, like I wish I had, I wish I had this opportunity to do this full time. Unfortunately for me, I have to work um, making money for someone else. <laughs> Being a nurse is my awesome, my awesome. Being a nurse is awesome, guys. I wouldn't trade it for the world. But it's one profession. Hold on, I'm just parking. It's one profession that you can literally... You can go from, like, job to job. You can... You could be... You know how many jobs I've had being a nurse? I mean, like, I was a cardiac nurse, a stroke nurse, a med surge nurse. I was a camp nurse one summer. I've worked with geriatrics. I've worked with, um, in an operating room. I've worked with plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, dermatology. Like, you can be a nurse and do so many things. I was a nurse manager at a subacute facility. I, I work nights. I work days. I've done private duty. I, I mean, and I'm still a nurse. And that's what's so cool about it. Like, if you're, um... I don't know, if you're an IT guy, you're doing IT. If you're a secretary, you're a secretary. But like nursing, you can do so many things. And throughout the years, I've just incorporated all of the things I've learned. And you know, truthfully, the, uh, the nutrition part of it is so archaic. I mean, you today, these, these people coming out of school, um, when they're learning about diet, and things like that, nutrition, it's so, you know, low fat, high carb, it's such junk. I just want to change things, you know, like I just, I want to be able to change the world. <laughs> I just wish people would know that. I don't know. It's just, it's been weighing on me a lot. And like, 
doing your uh, meal plans and being your coach is just one way to help you guys, but another way to get the world um, to know about keto and how bad whole grains are for you and, and the inflammation they cause. And, you know, people think brown rice, whole grain bread, sweet potatoes, it's junk for your body. People don't understand that, you know, and um, fruit, it's like your body doesn't know it's a bowl of fruit. It just knows it's getting sugar. So you may as well eat a box of donuts. I don't know. I just, I'm trying so hard, little old me, <laughs> to change the world and someday, damn it, if I'm 90 years old, I'm going to have this world changed somehow. Somehow I'm going to do it and um, you're all a part of my journey just as I am yours. And I just want to thank you and, and let you know how much I appreciate all of you reaching out to me and hold on reaching out to me and having just having faith in me you know your support you know you guys always say thank you for supporting me but it's really you guys who are supporting me you're fueling my fire to do good and to change things and um I will always be here for you I will be making videos until I'm literally on my deathbed and even then you'll probably get a video <laughs> I will never stop and I will never stop trying to change things and getting people healthier and taking on new clients. And oh my God, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much. This was just a ramble, but it comes from the heart. And I do appreciate all of you. And thank you so much. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'm going inside now to be with my honey and spend the afternoon with him. So I love you guys. Thank you. Stay focused. And if you want further information on my meal plans, Please send me an email requesting the info. I will put my email address at the end of the video and see you in my next one. I love you. Stay focused. Bye, guys.